what is behind Narhex's crosslink to Laston. Today I'm going to be talking to Dr. Cleary, who's a world expert in the effects of ageing and elastin in our skin. Dr. Cleary is researching this at Adelaide University and is looking at how sunlight depletes the elastin in our skin, leading to premature ageing. Elastin is the rubber-like protein, which is part of elastic tissue, which is a more complex structure. In the skin, it's uh, present as fibres, which are responsible for giving the skin its resilience. I've got some pictures here that will show that. Uh, this is a histological picture of skin from an eight-year-old girl. Here we have the surface of the skin and the cornified layer. Under that we have the cell layer of the epidermis and below that the connective tissue of the dermis. And we've done a special stain which will enable you to see the elastic fibres which are these dark staining fibres present throughout the dermis. And you can see that they make up a network and that fibres run up to the junction with the cellular layer and form these fine filamentous structures. All of those dark structures are elastin. If we then move to look at skin from a 45 year old, you can see that the elastin is becoming a little thicker, the fibres are a little thicker, and uh, they're a little more fragmented, and there's a slight reduction in the number of these fibrils running out to the junction with the cell layer. Whereas if we look at older skin in a 77 year old, you can see that there, you can't see in this picture that there's a thinning of the dermal layer which is responsible for the overall thinning of the skin but in addition to that there's quite a significant reduction in the amount of elastic tissue and almost a total loss of these fine filaments out of the surface. This graph summarizes what Dr. Cleary just explained. Notice how the elastin production reaches its peak in our early 20s in contrast to collagen production. Elastin synthesis has slowed down moderately to our 40s and continues to decline to old age. This is why it is important to keep your skin rich in elastin. We have seen that elastic tissue is fibrous. Dr. Cleary was then asked if it was possible to get it into a soluble form. Normally it's present in fibrous form, but it's possible to treat it with chemicals or with enzymes to reduce the size of the molecules. And I have here some elastin that's been purified in that way and we can add a little of this to a tube and you can see that we have a powder present in that. Just add a little water to it and uh, cap it and just shake that. It quickly goes into solution and uh, you can see we've got quite a con strong concentration of elastin there with the frothiness that occurs quite quickly on the surface. Dr. Cleary comments on the absorption capabilities of elastin if we apply it directly to our skin. That's an interesting question. Normally we think that molecules that are more than uh, several thousand Daltons in size can't be absorbed through the skin and the elastin molecules are normally quite a bit bigger than that so that one would expect it not to be absorbed. There are however a couple of studies that have been done that suggest that it may be possi possible for the elastin to be absorbed and what uh, I think about that is that uh, Elastin is a very different protein from any other protein and it has a, um, a liking for getting into fatty tissues and it uh, normally would dislike watery tissues and so uh, it's possible then that it may be being absorbed through the skin surface by uh, incorporating itself into the lipid layers or the fatty layers of the cells themselves and being absorbed in that way. But that's still contentious and it hasn't been established. Dr. Cleary explains the double-blind study on elastin. Yes, this was a study that was done independently of me and uh, I've looked at the experimental design on that. Uh, what a double-blind study means is that um, neither the doctor nor the patient know which side of the face has had the active ingredient applied. So what happened in this case was that the, fund of the basic cosmetic uh, from uh, Narhex elastin uh, solution was applied to one side of the face without any elastin present and to the other side of the face it was applied with elastin contained in it. What it showed in the study after four weeks with both men and women from 25 to 45 years of age was that the side in which there was elastin in the solution showed a significant reduction in wrinkles and in uh, coarser lines on the skin in 75% of the patients. 
Now, this is a surprising finding in the sense that one wouldn't expect elastin applied to the skin in this time to actually bring about such changes. So I'm interested in it from a research point of view in determining uh, whether or not uh, elastin is absorbed through the skin, which this evidence would seem to suggest, and secondly, to see what mechanism is involved in bringing about these changes in the lines on the, the uh, skin to which the elastin is applied. Now, I'm not endorsing the product, but I am saying that the results are quite interesting and they're worthy, from my point of view, of further research study. Despite recent advances, we are still a long way from understanding the nature of our skin and why it ages. At least for the first time, scientists are taking it seriously.